Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4. Uh, as Turkey, let's continue on for the last set off. So, we are now worth the Axis, which, I mean, it's not great for us because I the Russians are doing very well. We're doing okay. We're defending Istanbul. I mean, I, I, I don't see think there's a way that uh, they can effectively kill us. But Japan has just won their war against the Chinese. Which actually now has a front line with the British Raj down here. Which actually is good for us. That might actually relieve a little bit of pressure off Iran. If we're lucky. Oh god. So. Sicily has a stupid amount of troops in her territory. Yeah, I know. Like, that's way too many men. Why do you have so many units? I don't under... <laughs> Stop it. Have less troops. That's that's my only request, is for you guys to have less troops. Apparently Hong Kong's fallen, that's okay. I mean, I, I don't see a way I can get around this right now. I mean, you're, you're a mountain province, right? Your hills. I mean, it's still not too bad. I mean, Italy usually is the weakest link. They don't have that much manpower. Don't know what their stockpile looks like quite yet, but I'm assuming it's also probably like not that great. Can attack you guys. I mean, if we can somehow secure Gibraltar, or not Gibraltar, if we can somehow secure this area, that'd be great. You're still hanging out in Gibraltar, which is nice. We can at least still control that uh, straight crossing. Like, one thing I wouldn't mind is doing, like, another naval invasion against uh, the Italians here. Like trying to invade Rome itself, maybe would would kind of make sense. I'm just I'm just trying to think. Like, do we need this many units defending Istanbul, or do you think we can maybe take a stack off of here? We might be able to take some units off. Cause how many how many troops does Italy have? They have at least 107 divisions, which is more than what we have. Yeah, we should try to get these guys out of here. I mean, I wouldn't mind invading, like, Rome itself. Maybe try to get the Italians to capitulate in some ma manner, but I'm not too sure how we would get that done. Like, I mean, how, how many troops does the Soviet Union have? They have... They only have 151 divisions. Which I'm pretty sure is about the number... Yeah, we can see Japan's trying to push their way through the British Raj, which is nice. Siam's not part of any faction quite yet, but they'll probably end up joining up with the Japanese sooner rather than later. But Japan isn't at war with us, which is nice. I would consider that a win in some circumstances. Italy's losing probably a lot of manpower trying to fight these battles. Yeah, 300... I mean, Germany's also seeing a lot of men trying to take Istanbul. Are you a poor... You're mountain, so we do actually want to try to have that territory controlled. You're also going to stay in this city. Just make sure we control it for as long as possible. Hey, you know what? Why not last stand for right now? Because I don't want to lose the mountain province. I want to try to control it for as long as possible. And if we can, let's say, quickly take these two ports... Like, surround 30 Italian divisions could make a major change in the war effort. You know what I mean? Like, it, it could be pretty meaningful. Of course, we're still dealing with the, the Kurdish Rebellion. Well, like, what, what can you do about that, right? Weekly stability. Daily support for unaligned. You know what? That's fine. We get some republicanism because we do need stability. We basically have zero, which I would, I would say is bad. I do see that the, um, the allies are taking less troops on this border. So maybe yellow. I'm going to try to throw you on the Persian front for right now. Push out the British and take over India.
Okay, there is an alien invasion down here. Is it by the Italians? It is by the Italians. I should have known. So you might actually need the yellow army to go down towards the south first for a moment. They shouldn't be able to take over any of these ports. But I still don't... I, I don't like them. Hungary is demand uh, some territory from somebody. What territory did they demand? I think they demanded something from uh, Yugoslavia. So Yugoslavia might end up at war with the Hungarians soon. Which actually put them at war with the entire faction. Yugoslavia has rejected their demands. So are you going to... I mean, yeah, Hungary's going to warn you. Not a surprise. Not a surprise at all. The question is... What are you going to... Like, what faction are you going to join? Non-aggression pact with us. I mean, you're probably going to join a faction, right? I would imagine so. Okay, I did see the guys did take over another city. Or another province, which is not great for us. Are you just not going to join any faction? I'm surprised by that. Usually you'd want to join some sort of faction here. I think Italy might be taking some troops off here. Probably going up towards the Yugoslavian border. You know what? Why not get anti-tank too as well? Oh, it looks like they've actually taken a lot of troops off this front. So, you know, if they've taken troops off this front, you know what that means. It means we're going to try to push our way through. And, and maybe try to do a counterattack. Okay, so our goals have now changed. Raj, they're fine. I, I like Britain won't be able to push their way through all of that. Still don't like how many Italians are over here. But if we can like make something here work, like what about just like a full invasion in this province? Try to get us around on these handful of uh, Axis forces. We do need more oil, but I don't know if there's anybody we can even trade oil with. That's not the Soviets. No, Iran. Yeah, you're my puppet state. Give me some oil, please, and thank you. I, I definitely need it. So we can see the Romanians trying to enter Ukraine. Or not Ukraine. Uh, enter Crimea. They're definitely already in Ukraine. Okay, we need to get two more military factories for free. Um, Probably don't want you. Plus one defense. You know what? Why not some Western Frontier defenses? Probably could have used that actually like a while ago. Do not upgrade our guns. That's, that's definitely not going to help us out in the long run. I mean, Yugoslavia is now fighting the entire of the Axis. And they're fighting the entire of the Axis again. That's going to try to maybe open something up here. I mean, Yugoslavia, they're not going to live, obviously. They're going to be absolutely murdered. But if we can use that as a way to retake Sicily, could be meaningful. What do, again, is there anything I need? I probably want more tanks. Or more aircraft. You know what? More aircraft actually is not a bad idea. Okay, so let's kill these guys off. There's still a lot of allies down here. Iraq is not part of any faction yet. I think they might join the Axe at some point. That is entirely possible. Here, 95, 96. You are still going to stay behind in Istanbul, though. Why are you trying to attack? I find that very strange. Okay, well, we've made one progress. One province of progress. Okay, no, we're, we're making progress up the borders here. You guys need to start pushing your way up towards the north. You're not getting much done. So what if we actually do another naval invasion? From Sicily straight into Rome. We'll, we'll shrink this front line down a little bit. Because I think if we can take Rome... 
That sounds like it makes sense. Like, that's, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, Yugoslavia, we can definitely have a non-aggression pack. That seems okay. Yeah, you guys push away up here as well. Yellow! Your plans have changed again. You are once again coming up towards this front line. Because this is where progress is actually being made a little bit. Something's actually being done up here. I mean, it's still going to take a while. I mean, Yugoslavia is already dead. So there's already going to be a, probably a large influx of troops heading our way very soon. But I mean, like, what? You know what? It's going to take forever, but still, I think I'm going to research it. I mean, what can you do? We, we've got to try to make this push work. Yugoslavia's capitulated. Not a big surprise. Hungary, Italy's taking some land as well. I'm just surprised they didn't join any factions. One thing I would have expected was for them to join, like, some sort of faction. You guys are really having no success here either, huh? So, pair invasion soon. Take Rome. Maybe, like, try to split Italy in half. I mean, again, it, it could work. Oh, he, he's, he try okay, he's trying to get to this port. Don't worry about that port, my dude. Go anywhere else and it's going to be more probably effective for you. Okay, so we're invasion. Okay, you know what? We got, you know, it was working a little bit. But I think we immediately already want to go straight back to Istanbul. Can I go to Istanbul? I know there's a port there. Okay, you guys are falling back. So... I wonder. I mean, right now, I I don't think the invasion of Greece also worked. I think we need to like target mainlands, if that makes any sense. I want you guys to fall back to here. Why are you falling this way? Last stand. You have to last stand because I need you guys to stay over here. I need you to stay in this province because when you come over here. I need you to immediately fall back. Cause you gotta go to Istanbul. So yeah, inv inv invasion didn't really succeed at all. That's okay. So you need. How are you guys doing? Not very well. That's also yeah the Romanians. I mean you you could be doing worse. So I'll, I'll give you that. You guys apparently have no nail superiority over here anymore. Oh yeah, can I have you guys on hold? You know what? That makes actually a lot of sense. Shrink your line like this, shrink your line like... No, hold, hold both these lines, actually. Because what I'm hoping to do... Italy's probably going to try to take over the rest of Greece. That's okay. Oh, you're on last stand. I can't have you retreat. Right. I mean, I'm hoping I'm killing at least like a lot of Germans this way. I mean, Germany is 60,000. We've lost 186,000. So, I mean, it's still not great. Yeah, I mean, you're going to take over this province. That's okay. I'm kind of, like, I kind of wanted you to. Okay, so our forces are going to <laughs> near Rome. If we can capture the city, I will consider that a success. I do need to look at the, the port, like the, the port symbol. Fine, go over here then. Mexico joined the allies, not a surprise. They're probably losing a handful of units here. Unfortunately, are we going to lose this symbol? 
think we are going to lose to Istanbul. Okay, so actually our, our plan to take over more territories actually backfired spectacularly. And I'm actually in a worse position than I was before. Okay, so you guys are going to land in Azonio. Definitely that's not how you pronounce that, but that's okay. Tungsten has been terminated. We're no longer getting some finances. So... I would say, eh, what, what can I do? What do you want me to do? You want me to do, look, Kurdistan, I can't deal with your goddamn rebels right now. I got to fight a war for the nation's survival. I mean, what, what's even in this territory? There's, uh, there's two military factories. It's big. You know what? Kurdistan, I'm sick of dealing with your shit. How those provinces? There you go. For right now, I might take them in the future, but you you just take them. They can turn. I wonder if you you probably won't have the rebels, right? Probably not. Okay, so you guys have gone up to here. You go like this. If you can force your way through here. Okay, so this operation seems like it's, it's already a failure. So! Operation just invade near Rome has also not succeeded. So no, you actually hold position. Because you're actually still kind of fine where you are. We'll just go back and we'll, pl we'll just plan a different naval invasion this time. And this time, not have it go horribly wrong. I mean, we did waste a bunch of command power from that, but eh, whatever. Go from this province to... Why not here instead? I think my problem is that I waited too long after the invasion had gone through. But next time, it'll go swimmingly. I can guarantee you that. I mean, I cannot guarantee you it. But I have all I have left is, like, faith. It's all, it's all I have left to go on right now. I mean, the Soviet Union is definitely slowing down the Germans. But Germany has like 300 divisions. And 2 million manpower. Which seems pretty bad. The United States, of course, we're at war with them. As well. Japan's taking over some parts of the Philippines, so I mean, that's okay. Japan. Can I, can I do anything with you that makes you not hate us? I'm not too sure. I'd like to try to get at least a little bit more stability, though. Um, factory output and document output. So, negative 50% because of our absolutely dreadful... Claims ownership over Slovakia. I mean, Germany, are you going to give them Slovakia? Or will Hungary just, like, go to war? Germany's rejected their demands. Not that they can do anything, though, right? It would be hilarious if Hungary just declares war on the uh, on the Germans, but I I don't see that happening. So I don't think it can happen. Did you really lose this province? That's horrible. Actually, really bad. So. Where are you? Wait, where are you guys going? Why are you over here? Wait a sec. No, 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 no. All you assholes are on this front. Maybe I should have seen this coming. One of you stays here. I'm going to throw one of you into just a different army. And your job is to stay in Gibraltar. And that's it. You have one job. Stay in Gibraltar. You can be orange for... Gibraltar, I guess. I don't think it's really orange. Oh, thank you guys for the uh, equipment. Thank you, Spain, for providing for my war effort. Why don't we just, like, leave? I know there's a front line here, but I cannot see it. So have you guys up back to here. 
Am I going to get overrun? Yeah, please just leave here for right now. Delete this. We'll, we'll come back to Italy. Don't... Maybe. Does that even make sense? It might. We did lose Istanbul, which had a lot of our industry in it, which is not great. Why are you guys here? No, go go to Turkey. Like, why are you in this location? We did lose, I think, uh, what was that six Red Army divisions? I mean, not great. Also, you guys, we need another invasion order. But this time, it'll succeed. Trust me. Go to here. No, go go to here. My navy. Delete all their orders. Just make your way to here. We fortify the Western Frontiers. I don't even know where those put fortifications, but clearly I think it's probably a little bit too late for that to actually work for us. Okay, so we're back in Greece. Like, the problem with Hungary, or not with the problem with the Axis, is that they do control, like, all of Europe. Which is a, a little bit concerning, I would say. Just, just a tad. It's a tad bit concerning. Do you not have range to get over here? Apparently there's no ships in the Adriatic. So maybe we'll try to go like right here. Assign, let's say, three divisions on that front. You'll be ready in 20, or not 21 days, 21 days total, but... I... Like, I don't, I don't know. There are some naval invasions happening, apparently, but let's, let's not worry about that for the time being. For right now, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, your thumbs up. And now, you can always thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.